Hey, Jordan here with Cal Bassin. Today is just going to be a little video to wrap up my uh, day today on the uh, little pond that I went to with my friend. Um, the main thing that we did was pitching and flipping. Um, I was just pitching a uh, Texas rigged uh, soft plastic um with a little uh one fourth ounce of bullet weight on the uh on the top and uh, i was just pitching to the uh the edges of the grass and the mats and uh just letting it sink on slack line just like i told you like a jig and then um just twitched it barely twitched it uh you just want to move your rod tip well i kept my rod tip at about two o'clock so I could still set the hook if uh if I felt a bite. And uh uh yeah, so keep it at two o'clock and you only wanna move it like this much. Your rod tip moves between this much. That's about what, like like four inches. You do not wanna move it all that much. Like except when you're dragging it, I could I, it's acceptable to raise it a little higher stuff like that but I like to keep it when I'm popping the rod at at least four inches um, let me show you what I was using today uh, once again uh, I mainly use this rod I was using my um, St. Croix Mojo Bass with um the loose speed spool seven to one to one gear ratio really perfect when i need to yank those fish out just reel up the slack so quick and uh the rig i was using was just a texas rigged um missile baits d-bomb I like the D. I'm starting to like the D bombs more because the KVD Perfect Plastics just it lasts one fish, two at the most, and you're done. I think this is a three uh, wide uh, offset hook, and uh, all I did was pitch this little thing uh, into the weeds or on the edge of the mats and then just shook it a little bit and they just swallowed it up so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions uh, please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe hey it's Jordan here with Cal Bassin today uh, we're just down here at a little pond right here and uh, uh, we just I just saw a fish on a bed he was just chilling right there and uh, at first I tried to jig and he was just trying to uh, move it off his bed but um, but eventually I wanted something smaller so he'd actually crush it and uh, that's when I pulled up uh, the zoom trick worm and uh, eventually he crushed it uh, uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing but right now let's go get the release there you go. right back to his bed guys so uh I, again back here cow bassin i just caught this nice probably four or five pounder this thing is huge oh sorry for my language but this fish is huge compared to my rod it's got the bloody tail because it's right about to make its bed uh but yeah i was just using a um perfect plastics kvd uh coffee scent black uh california love i think and uh yeah got this nice one about to get the release off he goes uh just caught a nice little one probably not even a like a pound and a half or something yeah just again on a texas rigged uh, Texas rigged uh, perfect plastics rodent it's pretty fat again just caught another one again on that Texas rig perfect plastic 
just went right through. Not even 10 seconds after th that last fish. Sorry. Uh, just caught him again on the same exact thing. Nice little one. And again, not even 10 seconds. And I got this freaking largemouth. Or whatever this is. This spotted. Yep, spotted. Here we go, cow bassin. We got just got double hookups. Uh, just not 30 seconds ago from when uh, I showed you that last one. They're really biting right here. Get back to you some more. Just got another one. Same technique. Fat little one.